morning, so today we're going to first begin by writing our April prompt and number two slide, which is in Google Classroom. Again, you'll turn those in at the end of the week. Next thing we're going to do is review what hyperbole and personification are. These two are linked for PowerPoints we are going to go over, and here is also some YouTube videos that were from last week as a review. So first thing, hyperbole. If you do not remember what it is, this is an interactive board. So it's Superhero Day at Elm Academy. Teachers love Superhero Day because they believe they have amazing superpowers. I can hear a pencil drop a thousand miles. I can lift a ton of books with one hand. I'm the smartest teacher in the whole universe. I can eat all my lunch in less than two seconds. Did you notice all the hyperboles? You can hear a pencil drop from a thousand miles. Really? I can eat all my lunch in less than two seconds. No way. I'm the smartest teacher in the uni whole universe. <laughs> I can lift a ton of books with one hand. So hyperboles is an exaggeration which may be used for an emphasis in humor. I'm so hungry that I can eat a horse. We really cannot eat a horse, but we're emphasizing how hungry we are. So what you're going to do is going to finish going over the hyperbole video. And then our next video is personification. So personification, how are two versions of the same story? Which one do you like the most? It was a sunny morning in the forest. The wind blew through the trees and the flowers. The birds sang and there was a herd of elephants. Give it a rating. What do you think? 10 being the best. Here's version two. The morning sun greeted the sleepy forest. The trees and friendly flowers danced in the wind. The birds whispered sweet melodies to a wise herd of elephants. Give it a rating. 10 being the best. Now, so there's two of the versions. Which one did you like the most? Which one did you rate? Version A or B? So in here, it's going to say, if you liked version B the most, that's fine. But the writer used personification to make the story come to life. So going back to version B, you can notice there is more details in version B. So personification is a figure of speech where human qualities are given to animals or objects or even ideas. So like the morning sun greeted the sleepy forest. So the sun is morning or Human quality is greeting the sleepy forest. So saying that this, the trees are tired from being it being nighttime and the sun is coming up and it is greeting them. The trees and friendly flowers danced in the wind. Trees and flowers can't really dance in the wind, but they move like like when it is windy outside. The birds whispered sweet melodies to a wise herd of elephants. Birds can't really whisper, but they can sing songs. So you're going to continue to go through the PowerPoint. So after you have gone over the hyperbole and personification PowerPoint, our first worksheet is the hyperbole worksheet. Remember again, the hyperbole is an exaggeration, which may be used for an emphasis or humor. So we have many squares on here. You're going to color all of the boxes that I hyperbole. So this one, I can do a thousand things all at once. I think that's very exaggerated. You can't possibly do a thousand things at once, so you're going to color this in. Next one, I was tired, so I took a nap. Well, that's not an exaggeration, so when you are tired, you can take a nap, so I wouldn't color that in. My socks are smelly. Your socks can be smelly, so that is not a hyperbole. I would not color that in. I have a ton of homework to do. Well, ton is an exaggeration for the amount of homework they have to do. So I would color this in. Kelly ate a large pizza. Well, can she really eat a large pizza? Yes. So I wouldn't color that in. My room's so hot I can fry an egg on my desk. Yes. So it is exaggerating the temperature of the room saying that you could fry an egg on the desk. So we would color that in. So you're going to read the rest of these and decide if they are her privileges. If so, you are going to color them. On the back is more hyperboles practice. So again, it tells you what a hyperbole is. You're gonna explain the hyperbole in every sentence. 
So we have seven sentences. I'll do the first one together. I'm dying to meet my new teacher. So explain the hyperbole. Can you really be dying to meet your new teacher? Think about how you're going to feel going into fifth grade. You cannot wait to meet your new teacher. So I would say, I cannot wait to meet my new teacher. So literal meaning you can't really die, but you are so excited and it's exaggeration. Remember that. So go ahead and do the same thing for each Next sentence. Worksheet is personification, going over what it is, giving human qualities to animals, objects, or ideas. So you're going to color the pencils that contain personifications. So a few examples together. The stars winked at the moon. So can stars really wink? Nope. So I would color this pencil in. The dog laughed at the dancing cat. Can a dog really laugh? No. So the human quality is the laughing part, so I would color that in. The leaves fell to the ground. Can leaves really fall to the ground? Yes, they normally do. That's what happens in the fall. So that is not a personification. The flames tease the tall, dry grass. Can flames really tease grass? No. So then I would color that in. That's personification. You're going to want to do that for the rest of the eight pencils. And then on the back is some more personification practice. You're going to create um, complete sentences by giving non-human, non-humans human characteristics. So I like this because it's asking for a type of verbiage down here. So the, you're going to need an adjective here, sun, verb here at the and another adjective. So you're going to create your sentence there adding in these verbiages and then you're going to completely write your, rewrite your whole sentence down here at the bottom. Make sure you remember to use swag writing. Go ahead and do that for the rest of your sentences. The next thing you're going to do is now, since we have reviewed what a hyperbole and personification are, we are going to write in here what a um, hyperbole is and a personification is with an example and this will be the wing of your butterfly. So once you have um, written your sentences here, you can go ahead and color it nice and neatly and then I wouldn't cut out all of your pieces just yet. We Tomorrow we will get to the other wing and then we can finally put our butterfly together.